Amber Heard's lawyer Elaine exposed. I know we've seen a lot of horrors in this trial from Amber using a bruise kit to Depp's severed finger, but Elaine asking witnesses to lie is a huge low blow. I mean, seriously, why is Amber Heard's lawyer going to these lengths to win the case? News about how Amber Heard has thrown one of her lawyers under the bus by taking a stand that they're hiding the evidence is no secret. Is this why she's gone this far violating this law out of fear? Here, take a look at this video before this gets even crazier. Now that Hollywood's hot topic has entered its final stretch, things are falling apart and people are being exposed. We would never have expected Elaine to do this, especially after all the sympathy she has gained in the recent weeks. In the video, you can hear them whispering, Witness, I will lie in testimony. Witness, is this something I'm allowed to lie about? Elaine, no, no. Rewinding a few weeks back during the late trial proceedings, including the recent cross-examinations, Amber Heard's lawyers were exposed. But out of all, Elaine got exposed badly. After seeing all the horrors in the case, this might be a lot to take in. I mean, seriously, why is Amber Heard's lawyer, Elaine Bredehoff, going to these lengths to win the case? Surely not because she was afraid she would lose this case. There's got to be much more to this than it appears. As I said, some people like Neo Santana and Crystal Mez on Reddit went bold enough to state that she has harmed her lawyer, threw her lawyers under the bus by stating on the stand that they are hiding evidence. Well, this might trouble Elaine and the hunt for evidence made her go to these lengths since it looks like she's desperate enough to violate the law after the legacy of a career. Let's hope this isn't her fault or else she's going to face the same thing Dr. Spiegel went through after his crazy speech on Johnny Depp's narcissistic behavior. She definitely wouldn't want all her sympathizers to turn their backs against her. We all know that Amber Heard is prone to violence and that leaves no exception. That fear crawls around everyone surrounding her and maybe the lawyers are in the danger zone too. We've seen her smirking during the trials that make us completely go nuts. To assume her lawyer wouldn't fear her would be too much to expect of Elaine. Has Amber Heard finally lost her hopes of winning the $50 million case? Is this why she's playing her tactics again? We all know that she's never come up with believable evidence. What better can prove this than her faking bruises using a bruise kit? But the real question is whether she's forcing Elaine to tell the witness to lie under oath. The truth of this still remains a mystery that has the potential to shift the dimension of the case. People on the internet are going crazy, especially Johnny Depp's fans, questioning whether there's any truth in the testimonies of all the previous witnesses. Well, that's something we'll not know, not anytime soon, although we hope that this matter also comes to light. Anyways, it's now evident that Amber Heard is going to lose. The fact that the losing side has to pay $50 million might be taking a toll on Amber Heard and it's making people around her tense. So we all know that the exposing of Elaine during heated cross-examination made her contemplate dropping the case. It's said that while Elaine Bredehoff receives good comments on social media like TikTok, the opposite happens with Amber Heard. Oh, and you've got to observe where they look down and to the other points when they're concerned in front of questioning. All of this sums up insecurity, which is projected in their testimonies. This made things even worse since Johnny Depp's team got an upper hand. If Elaine leaves, then we can't even dare to imagine what Amber's line of action would be since the hearing is almost complete. It doesn't matter though, since she's got some sympathizers and social networks, but she of all people wouldn't do that. Well, that's what I have thought since in all the moments, Elaine Bredehoff brings her experience onto the board, which is more than six freaking decades of life, at least four of them litigating in front of Virginia juries. She's better than any person would know that having a small hesitation can bring down an entire job. That actually makes us wonder why she would take such a huge risk for Amber Heard, even though it clearly seems she had no clear chance to win. Things are getting heated finally as the $50 million bombshell defamation case enters its final weeks since the winning side could come back with a big cash verdict. Let's see what would happen. That's all for this video. Keep watching for more interesting leads on this case, which will be as crazy as this.